Hello. Welcome to Productions MJC. My name is Mark. Today we'll be talking about Halloween fun with punked pumpkins or punkkins. So you go to the dollar store, okay? You can pick this stuff up, this tray, these glow sticks, this, that that's three dollars we're sitting there. So your punked kins, your punked kins, dollar store fun that is priceless. The kids will love it. So you just gather up your stuff. You got to wash the the punk kin so that you can punk it. Now this is going to be very preliminary. You just go hog wild any way you want. I did some experimentation, and you can learn from from my mistakes. So the punked punked kins. Uh, you can use glow-in-the-dark paint, uh, and black light, you know, earring spikes. You can pick all this stuff up at the dollar store for next to nothing. Or if you have kids like me, whatever you're stepping on that is hurting your feet, you can use that as well. So, of course, uh, everybody snicker because I am no artist. I do have two artistic sons, though. Uh, but, no, I'm no artist. But what I did was I just put this together real quick just to see what it would be like so I grabbed one of the sticks of course everybody knows my favorite color is green so poof I put the green one in there just to have a look what it looked like just to give him a, a green mohawk you know and then I did some other things I experimented uh, I took uh, the exacto knife cut off the end put the green stuff in the little tray after some experimentation I don't know if I would go this route I mean you can tell on the on the pumpkin that I've taken it uh, painted on a little bit I would recommend black light paint you know fluorescent uh, colors and stuff and a black light as opposed to doing this because even though this does look spooky it's a mess uh, so I did that I had no idea it was dripping all over the place when I took the picture you know uh, I got into the dark room and I'm like holy mud that is really messy, but that that does add a little, uh, you know, je ne sais quoi to the whole thing. But you know, you can see a little bit of the drippings there in the painting. But you know, after my painting is done, uh, but I really wouldn't recommend it. What I did was I, I tried various methods, like taking a pin, the just the head of a pin, and poking a bunch of little holes, and then painting over where the holes were. And the the coloring from these glow in the dark sticks kind of coagulated, and it did set up nice. It didn't spread around, but it's actually a lot fainter than it shows in the picture. The camera picks it up a little bit better than you do see it in real life. It doesn't have quite the effect I thought it would once you get it out of there. And you can see after a day or so there. Uh, where I poked it, it, it does give it a, a certain look too. But I decided to go with more of, you know, go back to my first thing, go back and give it a cool looking, you know, mohawk, cool, cool looking look there. You could take this, I, I tried putting the sticks down in those holes. Not really a good effect because at the angle, the liquid tends to flow away, the air comes to, and then there's really no light so learn from my mistakes I would say paint this up with uh, paint you know of course your earrings your spikes but that mohawk look with that glow and I mean there's 20 of those little things for a buck at my dollar store it just adds uh, it just helps punk out your pumpkin and really make your pumpkin great so Thanks for watching. I hope this gives you some ideas how to punk out your pumpkins. And let's get punkedkins to be the next byword in Halloween. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I, I really do appreciate it. Have yourself a great holidays.